So welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to brighten things up in Copper Cube 6. And you'll see a bathroom made by me uh, with objects created in Blender 3D and imported into Copper Cube. Some of them are more shiny than others. Uh, they are emitting more light. Um, so for example, um, the water taps and the bathtub, for example, and especially the um, the lamp, are emitting more light. Um, while things like a carpet or other textile material isn't emitting much light at all. And this gets this scene more alive. Otherwise, it would be more dull. There wouldn't be any. Uh, it would be as if everything was made of the same kind of material. And as you can see, um, I also have, for example, on the water tap, I have um, it set up by just basic material textures. So this is like four times four pixels with just one color where the gray one is the metallic. Um, thing is, where do you change this shininess? There's no such thing, no such uh, option to fiddle with in here. Uh, not here, not anywhere. Uh, so it's not that obvious how to do it. And the official documentation from Ambiera isn't mentioning this at all, I think. But I can tell you, you have to go up to view in the menu and choose this one. Ir-edit, ir properties. Uh, also a bit illogical. Um, and then you get this panel up. And also, probably, this won't even be visible because you have to go up to tools and options and tick this little box and restart copper cube in order to find this one at all and i would say this should have a different name like advanced lighting or something and be put under a tab here under properties so that when you want to fiddle with an object whatever you want to do, change position, rotation, materials, behaviors, etc. Um, it should be here, I think. Anyway, so here it is. As you can see, um, this water tap has basically three uh, slots here with textures. And these are just simple uh, one colored textures like four times four pixels. So they are really really small You can see them here as well. So material one two three and there's a fourth as well when you want to change um, The metal for example here you have to change this one and Especially these values emissive and specular and also the shininess for the object. So when you import this object into copper cube, it will not look like this, this shining. It will probably be more like this. Both, both these values, black. So you have to change this one to something perhaps more in the middle, gray, and this one to a brighter value in order to get this shininess. It has to be brighter than the emissive. Also, this one value, if you change this one to 50, for example, you see you have much less brightness and it's more like a spot. So it's not that spread out. If you change it down to 20, it gets wider and down to like one or two or something like that. It's really wide. And um, 
what you can also do or if if it's not working at all it might be this one this button has to be um, activated as well mm, something else that you can fiddle with is this one the normals gets really bright if you untick it so that's something you can do and also if you want to change for example the blue color here indicating cold water um, you can also change this one of course get it more bright oh it's almost white um, you can change also the shininess on this one Let's see what happens but just lower that one a little something like that um, yeah and we can have a look at for example the toothbrush the toothbrush this one is made of plastic I guess uh, oh that's at least the impression I want to make so I highlight this one and as you can see it's, it's um, grouped object so you have to find the red material and as you can see here the emissive is um, quite low it's not all black but almost so let's say that we make this one just a little bit brighter you can see it almost disappears this shininess so it's um you have to fiddle a bit to find the more correct uh, values for each object you can also try this one for example normals and this time it looks quite quite nice to have this one on also you can change the shyness for say 20 or something like that oh, it gets too bright let's change it to 2 or something Oh, that's better. So, that's a basic explanation on how to change the brightness, shininess of objects in Copper Cube.